Hello, YouTube, and welcome back into some Let's Play Civilization 6. We did it again. We did it again, chat. We did it. We have, we found our golden age. It just took us like all of our resources. Uh, but I regret nothing. I, I think it'll be, I think it'll pay off in the long run. Hitting another Earth Goddess here, not only to like get, let our cities get up and get in population, but of course the uh, the faith buying of soon to be feudalism builders plus pyramids. That's going to be incredibly good. Six charge builders really going to make that faith do some work for us. Um, and then what now, right? Like it's turn 80, it's going to be turn 83. Well, almost it'll be turn 84 and we'll have all 10 of our cities. I would have loved to gotten another one down here. Don't know if I'll be able to like block this settle from her. We have, we have her troops now, so I can send these guys down to maybe clear out this camp, um, and use some of them to clear out the other camp. Uh, who knows? But then the, the question is now what? Like you've done a really good job expanding and settling and, and, and getting your cities down. Now what? Well, get the good districts when they're there. So like get get campus like like here for example I want to get this campus we want to get some science like science first in a culture game uh, is often quite good uh, because you do have a lot of places you want to get to now granted the open air museum doesn't get better at flight and so what are you doing with the science the science either needs to get you to steal so that you can go to Eif for Eiffel Tower to maximize Earth Goddess and then uh, maximize the tourism of future seaside resorts and national parks. Or we can skip all that, but remember that flight doesn't do much for you, but we, we basically be beelining radio for seaside resorts and broadcast centers, uh, and then also getting to, to computers there as well. But flight, not the appeal, it, it, it uh, no, no pun intended, flight, flight doesn't have the appeal uh, as it normally would in a culture game with, with like uh, paradises or chateaus or things like that. Uh, so uh, mathematics, we do want to start Petra. Uh, although I'm about to finish this district, it will be my third district. And so taking the next four turns and, and teching this is actually quite redundant because we're going to get that science for free anyways. So let's use that science to go towards apprenticeship, unlock this right around the corner, get our third district here, um, and get the Eureka, hopefully be able to start and get Petra. And then, yeah, basically start districting. That's our plan. Get the good ones. We want theater squares early. Uh, this game, it, even though we're in a really good position here at turn 82, it does have Russia. And Russia, I'm sure, have already gotten at least a couple writers. Actually, one writer to Russia, two writers to Russia, um, three writers to Russia already, and then China already getting one as well. So we really need to start competing for these and then probably start getting some spies to steal them back. Uh, the other thing we could do against Russia is, uh, you know, Russia all over to our Carolians and see if we could take them over. But I, I'd really, I'd, I'd like to have a, a, a peace forward game. We've been getting into a lot of conflicts and uh, yeah, feels nice to have a, a peaceful one. So yeah, um, working on a water mill right here uh, for, for this. Yes, indeed. Uh, we do need our our, uh, our our lumber mills and things, but we don't really need to worry about stuff for five more turns. We have a little bit of flexibility. I will want, we, we pin this in uh, on stream here just because potentially like five or six seaside resorts that we're not otherwise getting. Uh, so that's a thing. Uh, we will eventually need to settle a snow city. That would bring us all the way up to 12 cities just with those. Um, we missed a couple potential seaside resorts here, but I'm mostly happy just like occupying all this land and not letting him forward settle us too much harder. Um, we could come over here. Eh, it's not, I mean, this, this would have been good. This is good seaside resort land, like right down here. So another city over here, but that's going to be tough to do with him like that. Do spies get promoted like other units? I've never seen it happen. Yes, spies do get promoted and spies get significantly better when when they do have promotions. Those promotions are pretty powerful and allow them to survive, which is the big thing with spies. And it should be noted that spies actually can gain an extra uh, a free promotion right off the bat with Embrasure. So without further ado, let's go into our next golden age and uh, and get this show on the road can't believe we found that golden age again it's ridiculous all right i'm uh, i'm a bit concerned that she's gonna settle like right here uh but it is what it is maybe we can loyalty flipper or something probably not yeah use the road and everything okay that's fine yeah Shh, wait i can't declare war on you though we're friends that's weird um okay Ooh. That galley probably dies. Oh, well. 
can't do too much about that. What policy prevents rock bands from performing in your lands? It's it's in the future tech tree. You have you have a long way to go before you get it. Cheechin's pretty hard in recent games. Yeah, I have no doubt. We've gotten it a few times. Also, if you build terracotta army spies, get a free promotion. Yes, indeed. That's a good point too. do that. Good call. Good call. Am I going to build a navy to become friendly with Norway? Nah. Okay. Um, I need temples. I need to be able to defend my religion. Uh, that is that is not good if we're going to lose it. Um, we are not REM. So we want to tech down here. But I still want feudalism first. Ideally, we're, we're, we're beelining Merchant Republic, but maybe we take the time to go down here, unlock Theology, and then maybe even go after Guilds and start Chichen Itza before Merchant Republic. That is not a play path that I generally recommend. Getting into your bigger governments is 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 much better than getting a Wonder um, or something like that. But we really, we're, we're kind of locked into getting Temples uh, fairly soon here. Um, otherwise, we're, we're not going to be able to uh, launch an Inquisition. REM reference showing my age. Oh, come on. Come on, people know REM. <laughs> what what do you take uh, for your religion besides Earth Goddess? Well, Earth Goddess is our pantheon. Everybody gets a pantheon, and your pantheon stays regardless. Um, Sabi, if I didn't thank you for the follow, welcome in. Uh, St. Jimmy, welcome back for 16 months, man. Thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate that. Uh, I like choral music. I, I like lay ministry, generally speaking. Um, early on, we're getting a little extra faith from it, uh, and we know that this will this will be in one extra culture per city eventually. And we can guarantee that we don't that we can get whatever building we want because the AI always takes their main belief plus the building, so we don't have to worry about stupas right away. And I don't really have to worry about like holy order in this game. So, um, and ten thousand, a hundred thousand channel points. We got to figure out what to do with those. Um, okay, so this is happening. Going to move these troops uh, kind of weirdly. <laughs> but I want some of them to come down here. I don't know if I'll hold them the whole time, but oh my god. Oh, 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 let's run away from this. I want your cities to get raised. That would be hilarious. Oh, what? I wonder if we can help and like troll her. Hmm. Yes, that is true. Do that. But I, the reason I don't like this is because you have to like you, you just, just like the, it's hard for the AI to like kind of hold a onesie twosie conversion of cities of ours. It's, it's equally, it's equally hard for us to, to guarantee that we're going to hold religion in foreign cities for the extra economy. I don't feel like that's the best part of it. <laughs> so. It's like, I know there are barbs over here. We'll wait till the swords can come and help, I think. You made a horseman so barb horsemen are stronger now? Wait, what mechanic is that? I'm not familiar with that. I, I don't know how that works. Okay. Maggie's here soon. Got to think about some wonders. Need to get good theater squares soon. Um, and that's another reason to go down this, this route. But I'm still going to go builders first. Barb horses start at 20 strength until a sieve discovers or creates a horseman. It is indeed now 30 strength. But that's with a support bonus and ideal defense. That's actually, no, they're just 20 base strength. At least that one is. Uh-oh. 
Stream just went down. Is it back? It's back. Okay. That was weird. Hey, Mithrak, how you doing? All right. Well, first Congress. We'll vote for City Center that usually votes alongside the AI, and we can hopefully snag a Diplo victory point here. And I don't have the second one to vote here, which is a bit of a bummer, but we'll still, we'll still try. We'll still try. Let's see what happens there. Hello, Kevin. Hey, Blurg Blurg. City Center is good to chop out too. Pog, we want it. We want both. God, it's almost like it's almost like she wants to do a, a Diplo victory. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, so the problem with this though is that the Barb's are going to completely ignore everything that she's doing and probably just come after me. Like they're just going to totally now that they've seen my units, they're just going to come and attack my units, not do this. So that whole that whole hope is probably not a realistic one. So let's just help. Damn it. I wanted to be mean. I wanted to be mean. <laughs> How is Apadana still available? You have been building this for like 20 turns. Faith by the Trader? Yeah, I, I, I will. Though I don't have a lot to produce here, so building it is probably also okay. Uh, actually, we'll do walls into a builder and have everybody get a feudalism builder timing. Let's do that. Not you guys, because you guys suck. Not here either. Uh, although I can't do a whole lot here. Maybe we'll just get walls. I'm a little afraid of barbs and things. Friendship expires. Uh, not super soon. Like 10 more turns, I want to say, or so. Still lose gods. Yeah, sounds about right, Dentrasi. Now, this is kind of bad because they actually have stuff that's providing tourism um, and we don't. But I just want to kind of grease the wheels for friendship, especially since they're all fighting. Also recover some of our money. All right, so that should be open borders, I think, with everybody. Medi what is that? Wait, I don't know what that is. What is that? <laughs> I've never heard of that. The Medea smile. <laughs> is that a good thing? I don't know. That wasn't Sprawling Empire? I didn't think it would be. If you look at the amount of cities that people have. Well, not him. Two, four, six. He has seven. So that would have been Sprawling Empire versus him. Because it's three more, right? Five, six. Oh, maybe. Two, four, six. She's got seven, two. Huh. Is it not three more? Kind of thought it was. We have housing. Get rid of this um, 
This one. No, no, no. You you did it. You did. It. I just didn't. I did, wasn't familiar with the reference, Kirk. Hey, Captain Milk. How you doing? Oh, you didn't die? Oh, that makes me really happy. That's good. <laughs> this is a problem. I think this guy has to wait for... Oh, maybe we can sneak away. I'm not sure. We actually won both on the first World Congress. Am I sure I have 10? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There goes my stream again. Oh, boy. It's going to be one of those days, I guess. Okay. Okay. I'm still here with you, YouTube. Don't worry. We just lost uh, Twitch chat. We just lost Twitch chat. That's not how I want to end the month. Uh, no. We like so normally, like yeah. If we were going for a Diplo victory or something like that, this this early two Diplo points is actually awesome. But we don't actually have the resources to participate here. Um, so it's probably not super worth it. Let's see if I can restart the stream portion. We'll see. Uh, so, so we could probably just vote that down, something like that. It probably he'll pro it'll still probably work, but it's all good. Sorry, Twitch chat. Hello, I'm still with you. I'm trying to finish the YouTube video as well. It's just gonna be one of those days, I guess. Sigh, sigh, and grumble. All right, new governor title. Um, Maggie's there next turn. Two turns on feudalism. I don't have a Pingal, or I don't have a Liang. I don't think we need Liang. We're going to have six charge builders. What, what? There's not that much difference in a seventh. And I'm not going to prioritize like buying them all in one city anyways. I want to be able to, to distribute that a little bit, I think. So government plaza finished, which means this should be done. Indeed. So we can start Petra next turn. We also have apprenticeship. Uh, I'll probably let this monument finished. We played Shaka yet? Yeah, Shaka's like next, I'm pretty sure. Or like coming up. I like Shaka a lot. He's one of my favorite um, war civs. Housing capped. I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, just get builders everywhere. I may wind up being able to faith buy a few more settlers, actually. Like, we could, we could absolutely buy a settler here, come down and settle this little island, and just keep going wide. It's 490 for the next one, though. Russia next, then Shaka. Okay. That makes sense. Um... I'm going to give this chop to my cap. We were talking about how they need housing. They have a little bit. Oh, I can't because it's next to the city center. Never mind. Never mind. TGMHI. Yo, Nomadic Mender, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome on back to the shop. Thank you so much for the prime. Appreciate you. The barbs and sus, did they pillage Comcast or are they Comcast? I know, right? I know. Peninsula. Oh, what did I call it? An island? Yeah, that is absolutely Peninsula. If I call it an island, that's stupid. It's definitely not an island. Uh, where do we want this? Uh, probably a Pingala, maybe science first. Cause we're going to, we're going to be able to get our culture. Although going culture here helps us get towards our open air museum. This just kind of helps us in general. Um, I still think I like the science first. Yikes. If I would have just not levied and left all this alone, I wonder if this city would have gotten raised. That would have been cool. 
All right, so I'm just harvesting this for them. I was I wanted to switch it to the cap because they really need the uh, the growth and stuff. Really strapped for cash and will be for the next uh, I don't know while. <laughs> Ooh. Who be this? Come, swift spirits. We're not suzerain candy, nor do I have any spots for relics anyways, so it doesn't matter too much. Without mathematics. This dude is pretty close to dead. I'm going to try to sneak him down that way. I might be giving up this spearman, but I'm happy to clear the camp. See ya, maestro. Have a good one, buddy. Still, I'm not. I could grab a missionary or two just, just to try to like spread it to my easier cities, but other people are really working on it. I don't want to. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for apostles. So plus three holy site was my plan for here. I was also going to uh, harvest this. So maybe work on a granary and there'll be a place where I buy a builder. I think this is fine because we get to sell it or actually we've sold all of our oh no that is our second one hopefully we can still we still have time to sell this we're all on the same continent hey that works probably just take that Ooh, just kidding what's up unshattered how you doing Hey Dan, how you doing? Boop. Sweet, we got out of there. What makes such a strong, such a long, a strong sieve? A whole lot. Um, they have one of the best districts in the game. Um, that's that's pretty much the clutch of it. Is that district is so awesome. Um, but then the extra territory on founding is fantastic on deity. Their, their trade routes are actually quite relevant. Um, their trade route bonus, their whole kit is amazing. They don't have an away. They don't have a wasted ability, With the advance of few a pretty good unique unit. I don't want to attack here because I don't want the uh, I don't want the damage from the get from the quadreams. All right, feudalism is here now. This is surprisingly relevant, but we don't really have the gold to support it. So we'll go like this. Oh, and who is that uh, city state? I didn't look. Rapa. Okay. Like to get some envoys in there soon. All right. So we have Petro. We're going to go after apprenticeship. And then next is construction. We actually. This is debatable. This might be better first. We're not really hit mine heavy. I'll go construction first for the lumber mills. That's what this guy's sitting there for, anyways. All right. So now we have feudalism. I know I need to see, save some of this faith for the Inquisition stuff, but we're, we've got some time to generate our faith back. We're at 50 faith per turn already. Uh, and actually, yeah, we should buy this trader, huh? And then I only get like one more, maybe for Maggie here. She 
Should prioritize the builders in the cities that are going to give us um, better appeal. Ah, uh, really? Now, now this guy is definitely dead. Bummer. What's Barb's man? Builders everywhere. Petra, we can start on next turn. No. No. I can get gypsum on my own. What? All right. <laughs> Guy's somehow alive. I don't know how, but I'll take it. Can't really buy them tiles. Uh, we have we have a bonus to the, the city center buildings. You know what? Barbs could spawn up here. I'm going to start with walls there. They'll be fine. Petra time in the city. I have two chops here. I could double chop. I could actually bring Magnus up here. I should have sent Magnus here, huh? Although they're really only, what, one, two, three chops? Four? Kinda. I'm not too worried about missing out on Petra, frankly. I think we'll be fine. Even if we miss it, that city's okay. All right, what are we doing here, though? Walls make a good chop more than the monument. I need this. We need all the tech. That's a metra. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, it's not amazing, but I, I think I think it'll it, it's fine. Like it justifies the uh, the settle. I think. Plus three, but that's just because of the jungle tiles. This is actually fine. What's up, Adarsh? How you been, bud? That city just existing is going to be 20 plus culture in late in the game. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, had a game with Korea last night. She got to 178 science. In the industrial area, everyone else was around 70. Thought the game was lost, so you retired. Korea's wild. Yeah, the AI can snowball like crazy. Uh, that is something that's sort of always been true. And uh, yeah, it, it, gets, it gets a little rough out there. Can be a little bit rough. What are, what's my what do my roads look like? We have a road here, goes all the way over here. Okay, and then that's it. We have this road. So yeah. Uh, so I don't need this road. Then I guess we just go here because then these guys are already connected, and then that'll give me a nice road through here. So to. Helsingborg. It's a good trade route too, too, too. It's fine. New to the game, how'd you get so good? Uh, a lot of it is just time. Uh, I am have, I'm, I'm, I'm approaching 4,000 hours in the game. <laughs> so I've been streaming it for several years now. It's the best science of, uh, it's debatable. It's debatable. I like uh, Japan probably is the best one. Do you go straight for making a bunch of settlements? Yes. We had uh, 10 cities at turn 84. You should be going for like 8 to 12 cities every game. I gen generally tell people to spend about the first 100 turns trying to expand your empire. Uh, and then the next 50 or so trying to get districts uh, and economize. And then you, you finally finish off by, uh, you know, winning. But if you kind of follow that metric, you'll be fine.
What are the benefits of that? The wider you go in Civ 6, the better. Uh, you get rewarded for having lots of cities. More cities means more districts. More districts means more economy. More economy means, uh, you know, a more powerful uh, position in the game to win. What's with the capital with a low pop than other cities? How many cities have I settled? Uh, I've settled 10 cities. Civ 6, your first Civ. I find that I always wind up turtling and going, waiting for science to give you a unit advantage. Any tips on not falling into that habit? Uh, when do you like to war, Sharky? Can you tell me a little bit more about your playstyle and what you're trying to accomplish? The poets have been There's a uh, arrow score for the commercial hub. That's good. Hey, Hufflepuffagus, thank you so much for the 17 months. Welcome on back. Did I attack anybody early? No, this has been 100% peaceful. So we'll swing out here first to not expose just in case we kill something. I'm just going to go ahead and have Magnus pretty much chop everything here. So that I can get my theater squares down. Magnus chopping for wonders is ideal. Uh, but I think even just chopping to get our early districts down, especially when they have good economy behind them, is better. Unless if you play with four, completely sit five. On your first year to game with Robert, Science Victory, nice. Congratulations. How would I like to see a Venice like Civ and Civ 6? I don't think that works, um, unfortunately, just because Civ 6 is such a wide game, you know? Um, what do I think the best tactic is? It just varies on who you're playing and what you're trying to do with the game. Uh, with with all the different victory types that are in the game, there are, there are some tactics that work very well for some, uh, and will just completely whiff on the other ones. So you don't want to get in, you don't want to get in the rut of like this is my play style unless you can break that down to like this is my science play style and this is my culture play style and this is my early game play style um, and things like that. So there really is no there's no best if that makes sense. There's just situationally good. Find that anytime I go to war early, I end up being miles away from another sieve, or I just get dominated. Normally, I just tend to get two range in a melee if I'm going to be defending, depending on the sieve. Uh, yeah. So early wars, you can definitely get in a rut. We call them uh, like war, like wars that make you obsolete. The multiplayer more, multiplayer community uh, is more concerned about them than we are in a single player setting. However, uh, yes, you can absolutely wind up going obsolete by just throwing more and more like swords at an enemy. Even if you get up into a position where you can have good economy there. Um, if you're playing single player and you'd like to dominate more effectively, start in the medieval or the renaissance era. Early wars, unless you're well practiced at them, unless the situation is right and you can read that situation um, can be actually problematic you, 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 like in a lot of situations you're just better off with a couple archers like you said um, and trying to uh, expand early um, and then once once you're at the point where you have you can get some niter and you can start working on renaissance units these are, are quite powerful um, and sometimes the ai will like go on the top half of the tech tree and not be able to defend themselves very well so hopefully that helps could i justify a city west of the petra city for museum and theater square possibly but probably not I'd, I'd rather get like this city. We need our snow city and that puts us to 12. Uh, given how awful and putrid our amenities are going to be, being that everybody is on a single continent, um, like we actually have to, uh, we, ha we have to probably not go so wide. I'd like to get to 16 cities, but whatever. Always be ready to pivot, yeah. Yeah, no problem, Sharky. Um, if you're looking for some good domination games to duplicate, uh, you can check out Mongolia on my YouTube. You can check out uh, uh, Ottomans on my YouTube. Um, Poland was a crusade-inspired domination. So there's that. So, yeah, about those writers, though. We've got his first artist. We're going to need to get spies. We're going to need to steal. We're going to actually have to rely heavily on spies here. So getting to our intelligence agency there and, frankly, just spies in general, um, pretty important. Alex, Alex was domination, but that was a that was a pretty atypical one. So I don't really tend to recommend. I recommend that for entertainment value, um, but less so for someone that's like trying to learn domination. 
again, want to get my theater squares down as soon as possible. This is a good district, so we prioritize it, and then just theater squares next. Uh, we'll, we'll, we've got a couple campuses. We'll need a couple more, of course. Um, I can justify the granary first, actually, because they, they need housing. And some, we need some more builders, too. We're getting to the point where we're at our temples, though, and I want to make sure I can get Inquisitors before I spend the rest of my faith on builders and things, which I guess means that I can switch out of feudalism. Actually, no. I can do that at theology because we'll get that many more builders. You're building one, technically. Um, yeah, whatever. Whatever. So can't figure out why there are no great people from entertainment complexes. Yeah, that's interesting. I it gives a it gives a, it distributes amenities based on needs, Tara. What's up, Jeep? You wanna see Tamar domination, Adarsh? <laughs> I realize that that's not an efficient chop because of the lack of housing, um, but I'm going to grab them this. Could be worse as far as tiles to be working. And two turns till... Wow. Uh, two turns till lumber mills. I want to buy this tile for them too. Maybe I can just do this. Okay, what's up, Kate Cargan? How you doing? Not really building walls. I am up there. And here, actually. So I can run that for two more turns. Maybe we'll de delay theology by one turn. Put one turn into recorded history, then we'll switch in three. Get rid of limes, get rid of serfdom. Bring in science, bring in anything else. That seems like an okay plan. So we want to attack out the city center f first on 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 something that we're not going to expose the galley. I don't want my galley to take damage here. My pledge to... Okay, this this is a little infuriating. My pledge to move my troops has been broken. All I've been doing is defending their cities. <laughs> it's pretty ungrateful, Indonesia. Somehow, Apadon is still here. I might... God dang it. I, it's so good. It's so good, especially for us. How is this available? Do I think I've built every wonder at least once at some point in my 4,000 hours? Um, yes, because we had a game where we did a wonder challenge with China and tried to build every single wonder and only missed four of them. And those four were like Machu Picchu and other ones that I've built before. So yes. Really want this theater square. Not really a great spot for it. Can I really try Apadana? I'd have to chop so much, and we already moved Magnus. <sighs> yeah, he's building it, but he's been building it for the last, like, 40 turns. It's an AI trap. It'll pull you in two turns, and then they'll finish, probably. Chop all the woods and miss it. I know, I know. I shouldn't, but it's very tempting.
four, five, and seven. So we'll lose this Earth Goddess, but only temporarily. I want to get my theater squares going. It also leaves a spot for us to put a wonder next to our city center or on a river next to it. Uh, maybe down here. Don't know. Do you have a favorite? Do you have a current favorite saver? Does it depend on the day and the victory? It definitely depends a lot. Uh, but I actually make a. Uh, I, I kind of keep up with a rankings sheet. Um, just suffice it to say that powerful sieves are more fun to play than not powerful sieves. Um, so the ones at the top of that list tend to be my favorite. I love Russia. Um, Russia's super super fun and powerful. Uh, really big fan of like Japan. Anybody that gets good uh, district adjacencies uh, and frankly tile improvements. Really love tile improvements. This guy's a ranger. Ooh. Welp. I think he's finally dead. Finally dead. About to have dinner. Have a great day. Thanks, man. Have an awesome dinner, and thanks for hanging out. It's good to see you. Fleet of the Norwegian border, we can't. That guy's finally dead, I think. Uh, do I think the Civ 6 AI is lacking? Used to play a lot, but never felt the a good challenge past the early stages. Um, it's gotten better uh pretty consistently throughout the throughout the few years that Civ 6 has existed. Um, do I think it's perfect? Absolutely not. Um, do I think that there are a lot of improvements that I'd love to see made? Sure. Uh, but I think it's I don't think it's as bad as you might think it is. And I actually think making really good AI for a game like this is probably insanely hard. Um, so I, I, I've all I've seen is the AI make better and better decisions over the years. So even though I still complain about them sometimes, it's just sort of the nature of it. The full Rip. Block. I've lived through some oh, I didn't switch. That's OK. They were very, very short times anyways. All right, so lumber mills available now. So we want to get those. I would like money. Has my AI gotten better over the years? No, mine, mine gets slowly worse as time goes on. Just about Gathering Storm. Can improving bonus resources next to volcanoes save the resource in an eruption? No. Um, well, it's not guaranteed that the eruption will kill the bonus resource. Um, but unless you have Liang there, you can never fully protect it. I cannot buy all these tiles, sadly. Okay, and then two turns for theology. That's fine. Grab another Pingala promotion here. We'll grab Connoisseur first, even though Grants is useful. Grants isn't really that useful until we have the districts to justify it, and they just don't yet. I don't know if this um, holy site is justified, but I can't buy this for this, so I suppose it is. They have lots of chops. I was trying to be greedy. Well, maybe I still can. 
I didn't really budget that properly. Sure. Favorite commercial city state? Probably Zanzibar. A bunch of free men amenities are great. Walls are done next turn. So we can actually just switch all our policies in two here. Um, maybe get this. All right. She's she's not converting these cities. And those are the ones that matter. So I, this is a little greedy. I'm going to grab a builder for them. Yes, I know. They have to get you have to get a good district somewhere. I realize that this could be a national park. We have plenty of spots for national parks. I I do not have a problem placing national parks. That is not a thing. Um, this was fine blocking this guy because this was never a national park because you can't include the lake, sadly. Uh, but there's a national park here. We could fix this up to be a national park. Yes, that's one that we're saying goodbye to. There's a national park here. Theoretically, one here. There'll be ones over there. Um, there'll probably be ones in here somewhere. So yeah, we have lots of cool parks, um, but I'm not worried about being able to play some. We're also going pretty wide, so shouldn't usually have too many spots for parks and not enough, uh, you know, faith. So I know that these are kind of weak theater squares. There's not a lot of adjacency going on with them. But as I said, we really have to start competing for these uh, great writers. Otherwise, we're not going to get any. I think Chicha would be broken if, the, if it gave Rainforest in the city plus one appeal instead of minus one. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. But meh. you can't. I mean, that, that, that just makes Earth Goddess more powerful. And I, I don't think that's a good idea right now. All of my builders done. So that one's going to finish and not be a five charge one. It can just be four charges. And we can be done with builders for a little bit. We'll, we'll sub out limes next turn. It's only seven science. But that's obviously significant at this stage still. We'll save that chone that stone for Chichen Itza. Carolians over there. All right, where do we want to go? Probably education, regardless of not being able to boost it. Science is still good. Universities in the cities that have uh, campuses will be good. I can't buy out to the district tiles I want, sadly. Look at how Earth Goddess makes decision interesting decision making. If more pantheons encourage this type of this type of engagement, it'd be a great thing. Yes, indeed. Yeah, that's what I. That's that, and that's part of why it's my favorite pantheon, right? Not only because it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, but also it, it the 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 mental exercises you go through are fun. Lock that in temporarily. Actually, I want to go right there. Is there a way to watch the Wonder Challenges, to China? No. Um, sadly, some of the things that I've done we probably should have recorded, but didn't. Uh, that is probably one of them. But, uh, yeah, I, I also, I don't know. I don't want everything I ever do to go to YouTube because I want to encourage people to come by the live stream. It's, it's way more, it's, it's way more viable to make a living as a creator on Twitch than it is on YouTube, at least in my opinion, uh, and for where I'm at. So, uh, you know, encouraging people, obviously I do it like almost every video, encouraging people to stop by the live stream is definitely a thing. 
a thing that uh, I don't do just, you know, for the sake of talking. Uh, football man, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. We'll let them come to us. If I delay th theology two turns... <sighs> well, actually, I need the faith anyways. I don't want to sell Diplo Favor, even for amenities. We have Citrus though. Yeah, these amenity trades are going to be nothing. It's kind of a, it's kind of incredible. All right, now let's finish off theology. That way we get this builder out with the extra charges. Then we can switch uh, and be done for a little while. Do I want to buy one more builder while I have the policy in? The answer is yes. Speaking of that, hi in person on the internet. Hey, name of Gringus, how you doing? <laughs> Am I going to need entertainment complexes this game? I think so. Uh, although national parks are an amazing source of amenities, so. <laughs> Apadana! This is where this is where it would be actually awesome. If we could save production and just save up 13 turns per worth of production and then chop it out to finish it and just see if we get it that way. That is no longer a thing. Did he build the great lighthouse in his cap while he's building up Adana? This is not his cap. This cap's over here. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on there. But it is probably a debate. I'd like to buy these tiles from her. That's her first tile. Uh, no, this is her first tile expand. Or this, actually. Okay, we're okay for a little while. I'll probably wind up missing it, but... Hmm. Hey, Brad. Thanks, man. How you doing? Go and go. If you're gonna go for your first deity game, what's a good save to go with, and what victory condition should you shoot for? I really like Rome. Um, they're such a good, reliable. Like their 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 abilities are early. Um, and they're very reliable as far as like having an early unique unit. Um, free free monuments everywhere. Like they're just such a solid sieve to be practicing with. They're they tend to be my um go-to recommendation. Oh. I didn't realize there was a double reef here. That was a plus four campus. I mean, this is plus two and then it's going to be plus three. But I didn't actually notice that. I suppose it's a seaside resort. If there's any solace we can take in not doing it that way. Absolutely hybrid. We can no more have it. Okay. 
I think with this policy switch, um, Holy Site actually not too bad. And then maybe we leave an urban planning here. Because uh, the faith obviously translates into things that we want right now. So this seems decent. Plus this is, uh, we have a couple really good Holy Sites. We're about to build a third one. It's not too bad. Not too, too bad. Uh, and I think for now we'll put a cut in the video and uh, continue to expand our awesome Sweden colors, which I'm enjoying thoroughly. And uh, yeah, we're uh, we're progressing well through the early game. Still only turn at 94. So definitely need to put the pedal to the metal and start getting our districts and things down. Uh, but so far, in a pretty good position. Thank you so much for watching if you're watching over on YouTube. And we will see you in the next one.